Coming into the 2009-2010 season, the Big Red will bring in the biggest recruiting class since the current seniors walked onto campus for the first time in the fall of 2006. The Red will have seven new faces on the court, including five freshmen and two transfers. Slope TV had a chance to sit down with some of these newcomers to give fans a perspective of what to expect on the court this season. What originally attracted you to Cornell University, and why did you ultimately decide to make Cornell the place for you as a student and as a basketball player? Well, the program, I mean, it speaks for itself. Coach D, ever since he came in, has just been constantly making it better and better, and I mean, what part of that wouldn't attract you to it? Um, well, I was looking for a place where I could, you know, play, play basketball and have, like, a great, a great academic. So, you know, in Cornell, is, it's not the best, like, in, in the whole country as far as balancing those two things. So, you know, when they, when they gave me the call, I was, I was really excited. I came for my visit. Uh, all the guys were really nice. You know, I got to be here on Selection Sunday, which was cool too. So, so I mean, after my visit, I was sold. I want to go somewhere where I can actually get a, a really good education. So that was the main thing, the, the whole Ivy League thing and graduating afterwards and being able to basically choose wherever you want to go, you know. So that was pretty much the main reason why I'm here in the first place. Well, when I visited, uh, the coaching staff was great. I loved the, the basketball program. The kids were great. And uh, obviously the academic um, prestige of the school was definitely attractive to me. And um, it seemed like a really nice place to study and play basketball. It was, I guess, the mix of academics and athletics. Um, I know, obviously, it's a great school, and like the recent success of the basketball program really drew me to it. Uh, and then, obviously, like I know with Coach Donahue and the coaching staff, and I really like them, and uh, like the direction the program is going. So, uh, yeah, I guess the mix of the, the school and then the sports is kind of what drew me to it. The fans haven't had much of a chance to see you on the court yet this season. What kind of player are you? And what should fans expect to see on the court this year? Definitely, they'll see a lot of energy. Uh, you know, coming in, you know, I was built as you know a defensive player, and I, that's definitely what I am. You know, I, I, I take a little pride, a lot of pride in my defense. So definitely, when I the bench, I decided to provide a lot of energy. Definitely, you know, play you know, tough defense. I think it's Coach D wants me to do so. That's what I do. Um, I think uh, versatility is a big thing I, I look to bring. Uh, I feel like I'm someone who can step out and shoot the three as well as kind of mix it up inside. So hopefully just, you know, work on that this year and kind of improve looking towards next year. For me, the main thing for this season is probably a learning process. But my main thing is just to create math mismatches. Like if I play like a three, then I'm bigger. I'll post you up down low and score. If I'm a four, I'll go around you. If I'm a two, I can still do the things. But yet, you know, post up, do different things that matter. So for me, it's just creating mismatches you know, causing defense havoc and, and making plays for others. At least for this first year, I'm just going to come in here, play as hard as I can, learn and just maybe bring some energy and just learn and challenge the people that have already been, like the veterans. Right now, I guess I'm just trying to gain experience so that in the future we can make the program just as good as it is now, if not better. Coming into a very successful program, what are your expectations for this team this year? I think we have we have a lot of big expectations for this year. And definitely, you know, with our uh, non-conference schedule being like it is, um, you know, hopefully we'll get an another championship this year. But I think we're just trying to play to the best of our ability. You know, let let the chips fall in there. Well, I think obviously the the first goal is to win the league again, make it three in a row, and then uh, I think hopefully get to the tournament again and definitely win a game this year, maybe two, maybe you know, sweet sixteen at least, and see where we go from there. I mean, I. I I definitely think we can win a lot of uh, NCAA tournament games, get kind of far, you know, make some noise. Cornell is playing a very challenging non-conference schedule. Is there one game that you have circled on your calendar that you're looking forward to the most? The main game, of course, is the, is the Kansas game. It's got to be Kansas. Yeah, definitely the Kansas game is going to be a crazy one. Well, I, think, I think everyone's looking to Kansas. I mean, preseason number one, who wouldn't be pumped for that? I'm really looking forward to that game a lot. So what's it going to take for a Cornell victory over Kansas? Us to play as a team. We're going to need uh, everybody to come together, you know, uh, play their specific roles and just, you know, shock the world. I mean, I think we got what it takes. It's going to take good shooting on our part because we're definitely a shooting team. Foot's going to have to have a big game against Aldrich. This team is stacked with senior leadership. What does this mean for you as a freshman coming into the program? It's really great to learn from them. I mean, they have, they know everything. Uh, it's been great. It's been a really good experience just to, you know, just to see them play, like their work ethic and just watching them and give, having them give me some pointers here and there. It's been really helpful. Um, I think it helps a lot because you get to watch them every day in practice and, you know, they're not just seniors. They're like, you know, star players in the league. So to, to learn from them every day has been really, really helpful, uh, especially going against them on defense has helped me a lot. 
you know, uh, defense is something I tried to work on a lot uh, this year so far, and I think that's really helped a lot having to guard those guys every day. Blue and Chris are definitely well, two of the best guards in the Ivy League, so for me to play against them every day in practice is only going to make me better. Fans remember, the first chance you'll get to see this Cornell team in action is Friday night against Seton Hall, as the Pirates will be the first BCS team to march into Ithaca since Georgia Tech did in 2003. Reporting from Ithaca, New York, I'm Jake Massbaum, Slope TV.